how heavy is heavy. Author. Sukanya Sinha. Illustrator. Hari Kumar Nair. Here is a feather and here is a stone. Which is heavy and which is light? What a silly question, you say. The stone is heavy and the feather is light, of course. Here is an elephant and here is the same stone. Which is heavy and which is light? What an absurd question, you say. The elephant is heavy and the stone is light, of course. Wait, didn't you just say that the stone was heavy? Yes, that was because it was heavier than the feather. But it is much lighter than an elephant. So maybe it is best not to say, this is heavy or this is light. Maybe it is better to ask, is this heavier than something else? Is this lighter than something else? But what about the question how heavy is this stone? Can we find the answer without talking about elephants or feathers? Yes, we can. We can compare the weight of the stone to something called a kilogram dot. A kilogram is used to find out how heavy or light a thing is. A good question to ask then is how much heavier than a kilogram is the stone? Or how much lighter than a kilogram is our stone? A kilogram is the same thing as kilo or kilograms. From now on, let's say kilograms when we mean kilogram it's shorter. But how heavy is a kilogram? Let's see. You tell the vegetable vendor at the market, please give me one kilogram of onions. The vendor puts a one kilogram weight on one side of the scale and piles onions on the other side until the two sides are level. You count the onions on the scale. There are 13 onions. That tells you that one kilogram is as heavy as 13 onions. But this is not entirely reliable. When the onions are small, one kilogram may be as heavy as 16 onions. When they are big, one kilogram may be only as heavy as 10 onions. We need to find something that weighs exactly one kilogram. I know. A one liter bottle of water weighs exactly one kilogram. Now that we know this, let's get back to our elephant. How heavy is an elephant in kgs? Around 4000 kilograms. So if you could get an elephant to sit on one side of a pair of scales, you would need a whopping 4001 liter water bottles to balance its weight. 4000 kilograms is also the weight of 10 cows or 200 medium-sized dogs. Now that we have talked about some very heavy things, let us ask a bolder question, how heavy is the Earth? The Earth, including all the creatures in it, weighs 5974000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000000
you would have to put about two zero 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 feathers on the other side to make the two sides balance. A raindrop is about 30,000 times lighter than a kilogram. Roughly 30,000 raindrops will weigh as much as a 1 liter bottle of water. A grain of salt is about 2000000002 crore times lighter than a kilogram. That is very, very light. Phew! You must be feeling quite lightheaded now. And your brain must be buzzing with questions. Questions like How do we weigh a grain of sand? How on earth did people weigh the earth? Who decided the weight of one kilogram? Bet you can't wait to find the answers when you grow up. Think about it one. On page 8, you found out that a 1 liter bottle of water weighs exactly 1 kilogram. How many water bottles would add up to your weight? 2. You now know that an average sized Indian elephant weighs about 4,000 kgs. If we told you that a train loaded with passengers weighs the same as 250 elephants, can you find out how many kgs it weighs? 3. Which is heavier 1 kilogram of iron or 1 kilogram of cotton wool? Answers. 2. 10 000 000 000 000 000 10 lakh kgs. 250 x 4000 equals 10 000 000 000 000 000 3. They are both equally heavy because both weigh the same 1 kilogram. But 1 kilogram of cotton wool would take up a lot more space than 1 kilogram of iron.